Well, I can't say as I'm surprised because everything Disney touches lately turns to crap. Um, this in National Treasure Edge of History. The small screen follow up to Nic Nicolas Cage's blockbuster movie series is canceled at Disney Plus after one season. Now, Disney is in real trouble right now. You have a huge corporation, a huge entertainment corporation that just can't seem to get out of its own way. Everything they put out here lately has either been a prequel, a sequel, a reimaging. Um, you've got race swapped characters. And it's like, damn, man, the House of Mouse used to be the place where you would see original creations and, and those original creations come to life and just be entertained. But now everything is about identi identity politics, diversity, equity, and inclusion, agendas, and it's no surprise that now National Treasure Edge of History has been canceled. Of course, you know, you, you're, you don't include the main character. You don't include this Nicolas Cage at all. You bring in a young Latino girl, and I got nothing against young Latino actors or actresses or whatever, but you re-imaged National Treasure. So what do you expect? Uh, National Treasure Edge, Edge of History has been canceled at Disney Plus after just one season, a continuation of the Nicolas Cage-led movie franchise. The series revolves around a young woman who who is put on a trial of, trail of clues with ties to America's past that could also help her uncover the truth about her family's past and her long-dead father, featuring the returns of Justin Bartha and Harvey Keitel. National Treasure Edge of History scored mixed to negative reviews from critics, which looks to be catching up to the show. Mixed to negative reviews? I'd say the average tomato meter being a 38%. That's not mixed. The, uh, the, the audience score being a 49%? Okay, that's a little more mixed. Um, But... Yeah, I mean, no Nicolas Cage, no John Voight. I mean, come on. Despite talks of National Treasure Edge of History Season 2 happening on Disney+, Plus, and even speculation about Cage making an appearance, that will not come to pass as the show has been canceled, according to Deadline. With the cancellation, another highly touted Disney Plus show meets an early demise after Big Shot, The Mighty Ducks Game Changers, Mysterious Benedict Society, Diary of a Future President, and Turner and Hooch have all met a similar fate. Disney knows what it has in big franchises like Star Wars and Marvel, which they are totally, totally, totally tanking right now. And it was clearly hoping National Treasure could join those juggernauts by spinning off some ongoing Disney Plus content. Another different National Treasure show could, of course, still happen. But the fact that Edge of History failed to catch on and was given an, the early axe does not bode well for the franchise's future. There is, of course, another path for natural, National Treasure as a franchise on the big screen, where the original movies grossed a combined total of over $800 million worldwide. Speculation continues about the possibility of a National Treasure 3 one day happening, fueled by comments from producer Jerry Bruckheimer, who confirmed this past December development is still underway. With Cage undergoing something of a career resurgence in recent years, the time would seem right for National Treasure 3 to final, finally happen. With speculation even swirling for National Treasure Edge of History to set up the next movie, which could still happen, though now seems unlikely. So, I mean... It, 
until there is a huge, 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 huge shift change at Disney when it comes to Marvel, Star Wars, anything Disney. This is what's going to happen. This is going to be a continuation. You have Kathleen Kennedy, who doubles down, triples down, quadruples down on the... Um, what do I want to say? Uh, she, she just forces her... Her, um, I'm thinking of about the term, thinking of the term, thinking of the term. She forces her will and her beliefs on everything Star Wars. We'll put it that way. Uh, Kevin Feige, he's gone down the same rabbit hole. And at least I forget Bob Iger, who started this all in his first go around as CEO. And it continued when he left, which he really didn't leave, in my opinion. I think Bob Chapik was put there in place to take the heat while Iger was pulling the strings behind the scenes. Um, so, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Did you even watch National Treasure Edge of History? I didn't. I didn't because I knew it wasn't going to be a continuation of the story that the, that the first two movies um, put out there. So, like this video, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notifications, and um, I'd be interested in hearing your opinion. What do you think? What do you think about what Disney's been doing over the last, I don't know, Well, since 2008, actually. With the first Iron Man. What do you think about what Disney's been doing since they purchased Star Wars 11 years ago, or Lucasfilm 11 years ago? What do you think about what they're doing with some of these properties that they have their, their hands on? Let me know in the comments. So, that's all I have for right now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you that take the time out of your day to uh, watch my videos, watch my content, and um, we will see you on the next video.